Um, Banker Dave Fishwick is with us this morning. Do you know, it's funny, Dave, you, I know you've been watching that, and this is an area of interest for you. When I say you're a banker, j just explain, you're not a banker as in the, the bankers people love to hate. You set up your own community bank. Yes. Well, I'm, I'm the sort of person who wanted to help people who couldn't borrow from the high street bank. I mean, we help pensioners get the best rate of interest. We then lend that money to businesses and people who can't borrow from the high street bank, and then the profit we give to charity. Okay. The big banks dislike me with a passion, but I quite like that. Okay, and just for those people who don't know the story, how is it that you were in a position to start your own bank? How come? Well, we're building the Bank of Dave. But uh, about 10 years ago, my customers were coming to me, uh, late 2008, early 2009, looking for finance for the buses. I've been selling buses for years, the largest supplier of minibuses in the country. And they were coming to me for finance. And I used to fill the forms in, send it off to the bank, sell them the bus. Brilliant. And then overnight, the banks just stopped lending. I'm thinking, have they done something wrong? Have they moved out? Have they got a CCJ? And you know what? They'd done nothing wrong. The banks just wasn't interested in that sort of business anymore. So I thought, well, I know these people, I understand it, I built the bus. Let me lend them the money, they'll pay me back. And they did. This banking malarkey, it's not that difficult. <laughs> <laughs> well, little did I know. <laughs> I tell you, well, you say little do you know, but so let's go to step one where, where this all came to attention, the Channel 4 documentary called Bank of Dave. So let's start there, shall we? <laughs> Look at that. Dave's venture has got its first important piece of paper. Oh, <laughs> we're not messing them out now. I'll tell you what. It's a consumer credit license. It's time for a banana, I think, to celebrate. I was saving this for later. And Dave can now start the business of lending. Proper. Put on in a bank. So, small screen, started there. Now, your story is getting the Hollywood treatment. It's going to the big screen. How's that come about? <laughs> Sometimes I have to pinch myself, because I left school at 16, absolutely useless, with no qualifications whatsoever. And I went from builder's labourer to building the first new high street bank for 120 years in Britain. So I got this phone call from Hollywood, like you do when you live in Burnley. <laughs> and uh, a guy called Piers Ashworth, wonderful man, He'd, uh, he actually writes uh, The Mission Impossible for uh, Tom Cruise. Not that I'm name dropping. <laughs> and he, he made this film in Britain, a wonderful one called Fisherman's Friends. And it did Brewsters. And it revealed good film. It did film. what, sorry? Brewsters. It did wonderful. Oh, OK. It's a Burnley word. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and it did wonderful. I thought it was along those lines. I just needed to make sure. <laughs> and uh, what happened was, they then thought, well, let's have another feel-good movie. So um, Piers rang me and he said, uh, Dave, we'd like to make a movie about what you did with the banker Dave. And I thought, brilliant, get yourself over to Burnley. And that's how it all starts. Who's you in the film? Rory Kinnear from Bond. OK. And from do, Bond to Burnley. There, there he is. Oh. Do we approve of that casting? Does, he, do you approve of the casting? Well, I, I thought... He he's a just, very good actor. He, he's mm. brilliant, isn't he? He's better looking than me as well. And he's, he's a proper... proper oh, no, he's not. We're supposed well, to, sorry, we missed to say our that cue then. then. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so he's, he is you. Can I just ask, so this is all very exciting and it will reach a new audience or whatever. Just going back to the principles of your community bank. If you can do it and you've done it, why is it that there are not more of a similar nature elsewhere? Well, we're called Burnley Savings and Loans because of lots of regulations. We are building the bank and it's took years and we're still not just there yet, but we're not a million miles away. We've lent out over £27 million to thousands of people and businesses all across the UK. We've helped people get money who just cannot borrow. Now, in this financial crisis, we didn't furlough a single person, we didn't take a penny off the big banks, we didn't take a penny off the government, we didn't ask for a penny, and we didn't need a penny. But you make money, don't you? Of course we do, and we give it away. <laughs> no, 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 I'm being quite serious. So you, you lend, there's an, there's an interest rate. Yes. And so you make money, and then what do you do with the money you make? We pay the overheads, we pay the banking costs to be able to build this bank, because we're still on with the process. not quite a bank yet. Not just yet. Right. But that costs a fortune. And then the profit, we just give it away to local charities that we think it'll really benefit. What have you? What can you look at and say, this bank, or not quite yet, but this lending society has made a difference? I can see a tangible difference right in front of my eyes. Well, the way we make a difference is David H, my right-hand man there and the team, they manually underwrite. So if somebody's got a problem 
and they've had a bit of a problem in the past getting money. What David will do is he'll look at that person individually and he'll work out what the problem was and they've got over it now. Maybe they've had a problem with a partner or maybe they got divorced, maybe they've had a credit card problem and we'll work out why they had a problem. Then we'll lend them some money. Over 12 months that will then get them a credit rating which means they can then go on to the, the, the high street banks and start lending again and then they pay us back and then they move on and that's how it makes a difference but different people, I mean recently we did one for a, a lady wanting IVF treatment and the big banks just wouldn't lend her the money and she were a couple of thousand pounds short and um, they just, she said to me, so the banks won't lend me the money David because they can't take the child back as collateral and I was like no! So David and I said look we'll lend you the money, I did it interest free, I said all I want in return is pay the loan back interest free but tell me what you've called your baby. <laughs> you didn't make her call it Dave, did you? We did mention that! <laughs> <laughs> but whether it's Dave F or Dave H, we don't know. <laughs> Do you know what I'm thinking is that you, you, your, your story is very inspirational and you have an amazing kind of vibe around you. Um, there are a lot of people right now, you know this very well, going back to our story about prices of things, they're really worried. A lot of people are very worried. Energy prices, food prices and all those things. You know, we're, we're, what do you say to people in, in these circumstances which we're in now? Well, I think we need to get together as communities and do bulk buying. It, everything's about run by the community to benefit the community. I looked into a scheme where there were a community up the north and they got together and bought a bulk set of electric and that's what we need to do. We need to take the power back from the powers that be, get together and, and buy in bulk together. But it is going to be really tough you know, I'd like to go with a gas truck and see if I can buy some gas from abroad, Dave's gas, and bring it back and see if I can get a better deal. I get the feeling that when it comes to energy, <laughs> yours is limitless. <laughs> in that it sense. is. Well, you come with me, we'll get a Russian app together. <laughs> what was the phrase you, you introduced us to? Brewsters. Wonderful. Ghost Brewsters. 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 There you go. There That's you go. our phrase for the morning. It went Brewsters. <laughs> There's Brewsters. Learn something new every day. <laughs> Fabulous. Thank, Thank you very much, Thank you Dave. so Thank much. Thank you.